It's time for Talking Tata. Star Wars discussion podcast from reviews of the latest shows and books to breaking news and thoughtful interviews. Join us as we dive into all things from a galaxy far, far away. Hello and welcome back to another episode of Talking Tauntauns. I am Jim Blahane, and with me as always is Nicole H. Quinn. Hello there. How are you doing, Nicole? Oh, I'm hanging in there, man. <laughs> Life is doing its thing. But I'm I'm chilling. I'm treading water, you know. Life life is lifing. Life is lifing. It's hot out. Like it's hot out. I don't. Not life doing its thing is hot. It's just warm out, <laughs> and I'm ready for it to be fall. I am in the stores looking at Halloween stuff, not buying it, but looking at it and like hoping. And um, I just need it to be a little chillier. That's where I'm at. <laughs> <laughs> it's been about, yeah chillier here yeah. um yeah like it's not it, it's borderline like should we go in the pool or not mm. um I, I don't want to go in the pool when it's in the 70s because that seems cold <laughs> yeah i enjoy doing that though because i'm weird well yeah you you're, you're you're goth or something i don't know what their their pool habits are it's, yeah zoom halloween you're like yeah this is like warm yeah Sometimes I'm like, eh, it's too warm to be Halloween. I need it to be like 60s, like low 60s would be great. Like all the time. That'd be nice. I don't know if that place exists. Mm, <laughs> I know. I know. It's a little rough out here. But yeah, I mean, it hit 70 the other day here. And I was like, oh, yes. Amazing. Love that. Where is it at right now? I'm looking at the weather because I haven't been outside yet. Okay, um, 79 feels like 88. I don't want that. You can keep it. And I realize (laughs) it's mid-August. I don't care. I'm done. (laughs) Pack it up, everybody. Anyway, how are you? I'm doing all right. Everything here seems to be breaking at once. Oh, fun. Yeah, the, the, the tractor, um... Needed a tune-up, but then the bucket on the tractor stopped lining up, so you couldn't put the bucket on, so we couldn't actually use what we needed it for. Yeah. So that, that um, I called for an appointment to fix that, but the trailer that I put the tractor on that dropped the tractor off, the pin that locks to the car uh, was bent. So oh. I went to unbend it, and it snapped right off. <laughs> yep. And so I could not put the tractor on the trailer to bring it to the place, and so I had to have them come pick it up. Our freezer has stopped working, and mm-hmm. so currently it is unplugged and open. Uh, My God. And um, a repairman's supposed to come tomorrow, mm. but um, he's like, do this first, and then maybe this if this fixes the issue, it'll save you, save you money so I don't have to come out there. Damn. The um, person who was supposed to come and fix our um airflow so you know i'm not freezing in the middle of summer yeah uh uh, has absconded with our money stop it i hate that and so yeah trying to figure out what to do with that because that was not cheap yeah and so it's a lot of it's a lot of a lot (laughs) (laughs) coming on all at once Mm -hmm. and then um my my job the one i get paid for Mm. uh is heavily reliant on who gets elected this year oh boy fun oh yeah so it's not it's 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 been a lot a lot and they they're like maybe we should move up the release of what we're planning on Mm -hmm. and like half the team's like why and the other half's like i know why (laughs) Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. friggin oops yeah so yeah that's uh that's been that that's been here it's uh it's a great place to be it's been <laughs> it's it's been a time um, <laughs> i feel you yeah and so yeah well but uh work progresses on the house uh we've been hitting lots of national parks lately great and so yeah we just came back from jersey yeah you did um delaware water gap i had been there because i grew up in long island but my wife's never been there so we can't check it off till we're both there mm, correct um and so, yeah, that's what we spent the weekend there, unable to do our canoe boat because the hurricane that I flew out in in Florida 
had reached up here by the time I got up here and yep. flooded the river. So mm -hmm. this freaking hurricane has impacted me at least four times. Oh, <laughs> the same hurricane. <laughs> what a pain in the ass. <laughs> It flooded, it, it like torrential downpour at my mom's house, tried to fly out in it. Oh, God. Flooded the garage when it got here and then flooded the river that we were trying to go down. So they shut down all the river boats. I'm like, ah! <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't even a real hurricane. Yeah. Yeah. Neither was Sandy. So, you know, we got to remember that. Sandy, Sandy had a lot going on. I, yeah. I, could, I, I can give you a whole background on Sandy. Um, I lived Sandy. I'm good. Yeah, I know. Well, <laughs> so did so did my mom. She was on Long Island at the time. Oh, she had yeah. she had I think six feet of water in her house. Fudge, fudge, yeah, bad. So it that was, was what. Well, I told her, and when she lived there, I'm like, this is not the last time this is going to happen. Yeah. And um, like, yes, it was an odd occurrence, but it's going to be a more frequent odd occurrence. Mm. And so at that, that point, that, that was, I think, the straw that broke the camel's back when she moved down to Florida. Oh, uh, yes, because they have fewer hurricanes. <laughs> Sorry. But it's warmer and I she doesn't have a basement now. I get that. Um, <laughs> they're built different. They quite are, literally they're, built they're different. Literally, yes, there. literally built different. Yeah. Everything's concrete down there. Um, yeah. She was concerned over the major hurricane that kind of hit the last year i think or i remember that it, it hit the tampa area mm -hmm. um destroyed like everything in that area because they never get hit by hurricanes where yeah. she's at because yeah. she's on the back side of florida the gulf side that doesn't right. get hit much and she's like our house um it says it's built up to the building codes that the, which are supposed to be pretty good but it's heavily reliant on if they enforce the codes right and florida's really hit or miss on if they enforce the codes or not like theoretically their building codes are the strongest in the country theoretically um as someone who used to did a lot of work with building codes uh analysis and so um but her house stood up really well her entire com community stood up really well to Good. the hurricane when everything else around it was torn apart damn dang yeah it's tough so i'm hoping that gives her peace of mind i hope uh, so because that's good that's good that it's like, here's a direct hit. You're good. Awesome. Like, that's pretty, it's pretty solid. Yeah. So that's fun news. Nice. That's, <laughs> that's, that's all I got. <laughs> nice. Very good. Do we want to talk about show news before we get into news news? Yeah. Why don't we? Um, yeah. So I've got personally just a ton of stuff going on between like various jobs and freelancing and, and, you know, there's still a lot of writing I want to do. Cause like one day I'd like to publish a book. That'd be real cool. Um, so in the interest of that and just my mental health and all this other stuff going on with me very personally, I'm going to be taking a little baby step back from the show um not totally um the plan for now is for me to be on once a month um whether that means jim has guests on in between or whatever that is um we'll figure out and that's very much up to him uh but i will be on once a month starting now <laughs> so this is august um and then i'll be back for do you want to say for the yeah yeah, yeah. because for, it's not a guest i can't I'm yeah. not, i believe yeah. the release is not changing so no can, i don't uh, think so <laughs> um so i'll be back next for uh the star wars lego movie the rebuild the empire uh movie that's going to come out mid-september i will be back on of course to talk about that because are you kidding me that's going to be amazing um and i'm very excited for it so um for now that's kind of what we're looking at um and we'll see how that goes, whether I need to pull back even more or whether I can come back more often or whatever. We'll figure that out. But for now, um, I'll be I'll be chilling for a minute. But you'll hear me once a month and Jim will do his thing. <laughs> Jim, Jim doesn't know quite what uh, what he's going to do yet. So, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. We'll, we'll things may be erratic for a while. Uh, Stick with us, man. We'll figure it out. Yep. So, and if you um, yeah. if you like hearing my voice um, and not Nicole's voice, then this is all for you. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, I'm sure we'll figure something out. My schedule is just too insane right now um, and unpredictable for me to reliably be here as much as I want to be on top of, you know, just my energy levels and and being pulled in seven billion directions, which is the first thing you said to me when we we popped on to record today, which is like you pulled in a million different directions. And I'm like, yes, and I'm crying. Um, So, yeah, that's just the balance I have to strike right now. So I will figure that out as that balance shifts. But yeah. So, yeah, I, this is not a surprise to me. Um, I, I I was waiting to see how, 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 uh, your life played out. And, Mm -hmm. um, I'm glad that you're sticking with us. Oh yeah. Absolutely. For as long as I possibly humanly can, we will be, I'm hanging on like grim death. And, uh, I much I much prefer when you're energized, um, yeah. as opposed to doing this because it's a chore. Because it's that's I, not it's what we not want a, to do. It's not a chore. And no, I don't want you to consider it a chore. And this is no. why we're doing it. This is why we're rescheduling um, to make sure that give you give you some Star Wars time, but not overload you. Exactly, exactly. So I think the once a month will be just what the doctor ordered, as it were. And um, yeah, we'll see. All right. Are we ready to talk news? I think there's so much D23 stuff going on, man. It was a is good it, weekend for me. Is <laughs> it was there news? It, like, oh, I, I didn't know if we had any news. Hold on. I got I got a news in trail. Your Tauntaun will freeze before you reach the first marker. Then I'll see you in hell. Hello. What have we here? That's still my favorite transition I've ever made. <laughs> That's dope. I made the transition a long time ago, and I'm like, I don't know where to put this. I just really liked the transition. Yeah. <laughs> and eventually it became our news intro. Yeah. So, yes, D23. Um, in regards to Star Wars, there was some. There wasn't a ton. But there's a lot of park news, which I Yo. also kind of want to talk about because I am. Thank God. As, <laughs> as, as both of us are huge fans of the parks, uh, I think it'll be interesting, and it will have... I think it will have an impact on the Star Wars um, at some point in the future, especially mm-hmm. given how little Star Wars news we got with the parks. Mm-hmm. It makes me wonder with some of this stuff that they announced, it's uh, it's going to have big impacts. I think so. We did get one update to Smuggler's Run, which I think will be interesting because that is a ride that I skip a lot. Like I haven't been on it. I've been on it once and I was like, I'm good, um, but we are getting a little update to Smuggler's Run, which I think was necessary. Whereas, like, right now, I think Galaxy's Edge is new enough and interesting enough and engaging enough that it doesn't need a lot of love um, from Imagineering. Um, I think they're addressing the one thing I would have said, like, mm, fix this a little bit. Um, but otherwise... Holy crap, did the parks people get spoiled this weekend? And I am, I'm losing my mind over one thing in particular. And I'm sure you know exactly what's about to come out of my mouth. So I'll let you say it. Well, before we go on, I want to, I want to talk about the smugglers run since you did yeah, bring it Yeah, let's up. do it. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I, I, I a hundred percent agree with you that I often skip smugglers run, but it's for mm-hmm. an entirely different reason. Motion sickness for me. Uh, you well, that's okay. It's for that's uh, I can't do it. Um, it's just not worth it to me. Did you did you hear the story of the time I have read, wrote it, wrote, wrote written it? I think it was um, it was either your kid or another kid. Kids were involved piloting, and that is it's, never fun. So, um, my family was down there. My my wife and daughter and I and um, and my in laws were with us, and they, everybody wanted to do Smuggler's Run. I'm like, okay, great, let's all let's all let's all do it. And they allowed us. This is back when they were before Rise of uh, Rise 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 of the Resistance. Um, the other yeah. ride was open. Yeah, Rise wasn't um, open yet. Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. And so we were we we were able to jump the line because we have several um, people with uh, DAS. Uh, oh yeah. Accessibility, and. Um, we get there. There's five of us. Six people sit in the cockpit. They're like, "Okay, just you five can go in." And so yeah. it was just just us. They hand out. I don't know if they still do this, but randomly give assignments. Yes. And they mm-hmm. gave me the pilot and my daughter the pilot, who yeah. may have been eight at the time. Mm. 
And so she's in the left-hand pilot, which is left-right. I'm in the right-hand pilot, which is up-down. Mm-hmm. And she is immediately, as soon as this thing takes off, going left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. They are lucky I didn't vomit right there. Yeah. I just reach over and grab her hands and tell her, stop. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> yep. I- I cannot do this. <laughs> yeah, not good. Yeah, I was, it was me and my brother piloting, which helped a lot because I had some control over where we were going. And therefore, like, if I feel in control, things start to, like, even out a little bit. If it's, like, erratic and I, I'm i not controlling that, if we can get a little um, green, as it were. Um but because I was in the pilot seat and my brother isn't, you know, an eight-year-old child with, you know, not much uh, handle over the directions of a, a um, very large craft. A video, you know? a video game you're sitting inside of, basically. Exactly. <laughs> um, we both grew up playing video games together. So this was not crazy, you know. Yeah. Um, it was real hard to control, though. So I did not have the easiest time. And I was just like, that was fun. But if I wasn't the pilot, right, it wouldn't have been as fun. And like, I did it once. So I'm good. Now with this new like angle of like Mando and Grogu kind of like taking the reins and being in the forefront of this story of Smuggler's Run, I'm interested You know, I'm like, okay, that's a new thing. Um, If it's a new simulation and it's like a new story, I think it it needed that. I think it needed like a little because it's so it's like to me, it's similar to Star Tours, right? Like you can put a skin over it and it's going to work. You can put new program new things in somewhat easily. It's not like you need to completely reinvent the technology or like redo the track it's not like replacing the yeti or fixing the yeti in everest which is does it move not anymore um (laughs) which i think joe roadie equated that to um fixing a massive animatronic in the middle of a building while it's like moving like something ridiculous like it's a roller coaster but it's a roller coaster in a full building and like he is it's just difficult like you there it would take years to fix that animatronic this is not the same thing right like this is kind of just like reprogram a thing you're pretty much good because it's a simulator um so i think this is great i think that it bodes well i think it means that we'll probably get a bunch of other skins throughout Mm -hmm. the years i think that's uh it's cool it's it's a good addition it also shows the fracturing lines more of their time. The timeline. Line. Yes, 100%. I'm not mad about that. It was bound to happen. Mm-hmm. Everybody was kind of waiting to see how long it would take. Mm-hmm. And it is what it is. It's like not like um, not like they're digging up uh, an entire historical part of the park um, to, to, mm-hmm. to put... The, to, to uh, <laughs> alter things. Um, mm. But mm. yeah, it'll be interesting. Uh, the The update I saw was something along the lines of um, Hondo has satisfied what he needed and now we're doing this, mm-hmm. which made it sound like it was coming timeline-wise after that. But if we're having uh, Din Djarin and Grogu, yeah. it seems like they're just ignoring the timeline altogether to have this. Yeah. And I how is so. that going to tie in with the Hondo part at the very beginning, yep. which is 100% separate from this? So you kind of mm-hmm. you would have to, unless I don't know, they I I, I don't know how they're how they're going to make it work. I don't know, but they better not get rid of that animatronic because that animatronic's amazing. Like, yeah, I'm tr- I, it's the best part of the ride. <laughs> it's so good. I re- I remember just walking in, seeing it, and like my jaw hitting the ground, like. Just I had seen video of it, but it's something else to be like in a room with it and be like, are you kidding me? Like, it's so cool. It's just so dope. So we'll see. But I think it was a good addition for sure. 
yeah, I think it'll be it'll definitely draw people to the ride. Although I don't know if they had that problem. Yet. I don't know. I feel like attendance was slowly diminishing, but like it just kept going down on everyone's list. I think of like it, well, how you, important is this? Especially when you have it up next to Rise of the Resistance, yeah. which is one of the best parks ever made by Disney. It's kind of insane how good, how excellent that ride is. When it, it is, works. It's true. <laughs> um, it's astounding. It's a feat of imagineering, that thing. So, but the the um, the the one part of the parks things I think you're super excited about is the Monsters, Inc. Um, land. That they're, That's they're, it. Mm-hmm. That's definitely it. I figured. I figured. <laughs> No. I am excited for that, though. That is well, going to be really cool. Well, that was the one I, I thought might hinge on Star Wars because it is they haven't as of now, this moment that we're recording, they have not said if Muppets 3D is going to be shut down or not. I will tell you I, right now, I do not think it's Muppets, the Muppets section, and I'll tell you why. They just paid to renovate the Muppets fountain. Like less than a year ago, they also renovated that entire courtyard and it doesn't fit with the additions and, that they made don't fit with the concept art for Monsters, Inc. So I yeah. I think it's Star Wars Launch Bay is getting the the axe, the animation courtyard. Oh, and, oh, all the way on the other side. Mm -hmm, I think that's where it's going. Okay. If you look at the concept art, it's that three buildings kind of. Thing, where you have one yeah. building in the back and two on each side they just reopened little mermaid so but that's the yes. front section i think that will stay i think um there's like all that other building really is used for as a dance party and um which they could move the disney junior dance party and like a few meet and greets but that back building that star wars launch bay um i think that's absolutely screwed <laughs> um that's a lot of space that's a lot of space for a ride and a bunch of other stuff i think it's and, and it, it would walk right into toy story land yes that's that's my biggest problem with hollywood studios is the layout is atrocious it's rough mm -hmm. it's really like, not good <laughs> there's no way to walk around the park you are going mm -hmm. like you can walk around half the park but to get mm -hmm. over to tower of terror and mm -hmm. uh the rock and roller coaster it's a one-way trip down the road and then a one-way trip back and i'm like yeah this is if they you're right if they could tie that into the monsters inc somehow mm -hmm. and you're right with the toy story land hopefully no i like that area and back, you're right go ahead sorry i was gonna say you're right about the revamp of the muppet stuff especially the mm -hmm. also pizza pizzeria rizzo was a completely mm -hmm. new skin to the pizzeria um that was mm -hmm. there also mm -hmm. Not good, but no, it was Pizza um, Planet, and it was not. It was cool because it was Pizza Planet, but it was not good. <laughs> and it's still not good. <laughs> no, um, the sign even says like it's rat pizza. Like it, it'll like if you look at night, um, it's a very Muppets thing. But like some of the letters go out in the sign, and it says it's rat pizza. <laughs> And I'm like, you're right. <laughs> you are not <laughs> wrong. Um, but yeah, I think because also there's the uh, Lightning McQueen thing uh, behind Rock and Roller Coaster. There's like yes. a Cars thing. So you could kind of, if you find a way to connect the three, you kind of have the Pixar side of the park. You know? The, the Lightning McQueen thing was actually pretty cool. If I I've I, like... seen footage of that animatronic and been like that's cool like it, that car animatronic's dope that could also is one of those things that is very movable it is um if they want to if they wanted to keep it or it, it's it's yeah. easily a um it's on the end of this park we can ditch that thing real easy that or because they did this with um toy story mania they just changed where the entrance was yes yes you could do that very easily um, with the Lightning McQueen thing, because it's kind of like pushed in the back. Um, yeah, that's my take. I think it's going to replace that animation courtyard and um, I like that and Star Wars launch bay. 
which I think is mildly unfortunate, but I'm not bothered, like, at all, uh, really. No, no, I think, because you have the store there, but you also have the other Star Wars store on mm -hmm. Main Street, I believe, mm -hmm. um, which is a better Star Wars store. Mm -hmm. I agree. And that courtyard, like, yes, it has the Disney Junior meet and greets there all the time, mm -hmm. but those could move easy. Easily. The dance mm -hmm. party, you move easy if you want to even keep it. I feel like they got to keep it for the, the littles, but it can be somewhere else. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. I like it. Disney, I know you're listening. Always. Don't get rid of Muppets. I love Muppets. I'm a Muppet I love person. the Muppets. I think they know that people will be very upset if they do anything with the Muppets. And I do love them. I love that Muppets 3D show. I do. It's I see so that every good. time I go. It's so good. It's so funny. It is. It's one of those things that like they haven't really updated it. They've updated the technology, but they haven't updated, updated it since 2000. <laughs> and it's solid. Like it's so rock solid as a show. And I just like I love it. I, and it's a good like it never has a weight, but there's always people in there. Like I've never been in that theater where it's like empty. There's always a ton of people in it, but like you can always get into the next show. It's like the perfect level of like heads in that room every, every time. So yeah, I think it's, I don't think it's going anywhere. It's also like in park, park, park essence. Um, mm -hmm. It's a good people sink. Exactly. That's what I mean. Yeah. Yeah. You've got a lot of people going in there to get out of the heat. Doesn't take up much space. Nope. And they're occupied for like half an hour. Yeah. Which is great. You get them off the rides. You get mm -hmm. them in a spot. They're still in the park. Mm -hmm. And yeah, no, I I hope they don't get rid of it. I've, like yeah. I said, as of right now, we have not heard. No, we don't. One know. way or the other. Mm -hmm. What's going where? Yeah. We know where a couple other things are going, but that's it. Yep. Well, speaking of know where other things are going, so we can we can go on to uh, we'll, we'll non Star Wars part of the parks uh, in Magic Kingdom, and they announced Cars Land. That that's the one you were. Um, that's it. They could also move the Lightning McQueen Racing Academy to Cars Land. It'd be tough, but they could do it. Yes, they, that would just be a rebuild because they're getting. I I so. The one Nicole's excited about, Villains Land. Thank you so much, yeah. Um, do we know where that's going? Yes. Uh, behind Big Thunder Mountain. So there's a ton of land back there. Yes. Like, well behind Big Thunder Mountain. So you'll have to go through Frontierland, I think, to get to it, which kind of makes sense, because you could, like, throw it way back there. You could have, like, some really big structures without it, like, in, like impacting the view of the castle. Do you know what I mean? Like it needs to be back there. It needs to, the sight lines need to sight line, you know, it needs to be way in the back. So it is, I know where Cars Land is going and that's going to be um, Tom Sawyer Island and Rivers of America. Yes. That's... I don't know if they're going to fill in the Rivers of America because I, I don't think so, but the, the... island and the land behind the island is going to be Cars Land. The concept image that they released of the Cars Land and that area looked like they were actually putting mountains where the river was, but I couldn't orientate myself very well. It's possible. Um, it's possible that they fill in like the back end of Rivers of America, which means that the boat, the river boat, would be kind of not operational because it goes in that circle. So they might fill in the back. I think the, I, I think know. the entire river is gone. I think it's possible. I think it's very possible that the whole river gets drained and filled, and that's that, which sucks because I do love that boat. My dad, it's like the one thing he absolutely loves is that boat. So that means in a month when we're there, we're going on that boat. You know. It's, um, speaking of um, people sinks, mm -hmm. Time Sawyer Island and that river take up a huge amount of property, mm -hmm. and they yeah. do not have a lot of people that use Correct. that like even the boat the boats mm -hmm. rarely i've never actually been on tom sawyer island i've never been on tom sawyer island no and um yeah and it's hard to get to because you got to get the it, it's not like a walk a bridge you got to get on the little no. boat so yes it's a little raft not, yeah maybe not hard to get to but it's that mild bit of inconvenience mm -hmm. is keeping 
me um, yep. because I'm I got other things to do. <laughs> it's hard to find something in Disney World that I have not done. It's and, yeah. difficult because I've been my goal is to be there once for every year I've been alive and I'm almost there. So <laughs> we're almost there. Um, I think I'm at I think this will be 31 and I'll turn 32 shortly after. So, um, yeah, I've been on a lot of a lot of Disney trips, y'all. Um, but, yeah, it's hard to find something I haven't done. And that's something I have not done. So I'm not mad that they're like, let's get rid of this, this relic. Um, I'm not mad about it. The boat I'm a little upset about because it's it's a beautiful boat. It's really nice. It's really cool. I know they have a lot of events on it. Um but it is logical to use that space for something else. And cars, I don't know that it fits in frontier land. Because it's the Wild sure. West is where cars takes place. It's a, yeah. like Western U.S. It's meant to yeah. evoke um, Utah, Arizona area. Yeah. Life is a highway, etc. Um, yeah, I get it. I get it. I mean, I would love if we got a version of Radiator Springs Racers. That'd be really cool. I don't know that we're doing that because Test Track is getting a revamp right now and it's the same thing, kind of. Um, But something. Cars is always... Cars Land is always really cool. I'm sure it'll be dope. But Villains... Villains Land being, like, hidden behind Big Thunder Mountain, I think, is going to be... Un... Believable. The fact that we're getting two rides, um, two rides, dining, shopping, the whole thing. It's going to be like a fully fleshed out, gorgeous nightmare. And I'm so excited. I hope. Disney has been known to skimp on things, especially mid projects, especially sure. something this big. Oh, okay. this they've been they've been working on this for a while. They but said it's already Epcot. like, yeah. Epcot, they had this huge plans and mid project, we got hit with the pandemic. Right. And every, like, half the project got scrapped and half right. the project kind of got the short end of the stick. And so mm-hmm. this is something I hope does not happen to this land. I think if there's a place they're going to skimp, it's not going to be Villains Land. They've got so, and I'll tell you exactly why. Universal next door is about to open a land that includes the Universal a whole, Monsters, a whole park. They're opening yep. a whole brand new, like, Correct. Magic Kingdom park. <laughs> Correct. And one of the lands is the Universal Monsters. They are not going to lose all the spooky bitches like me to that. They have to have an answer to that. They must. And people have been yelling for Villains Land for so long that that is the one that I think they'll put all their chips on if stuff gets weird. I think Cars might be the first one to get a little, um, never mind, we're not going to do that. The Mary Poppins treatment, if you will. Um, but they announced it, so I, I really don't know. I mean, they announced the They, they, Poppins, they right? announce a lot of things. They really do. <laughs> um, but they've been talking about Villains Land for so long, and it's been a Blue Sky project for so long that I feel like that's not where they'll pull back. They might pull back on some of the Monsters, Inc. stuff. They might pull back on Cars a little bit, but I don't think this feels like Galaxy's Edge level to me. Like they're gonna go in, you know. I hope like so. this is not gonna be like they might not open dining for a while. That might be the thing where they're like, N- never mind. Like we're, we'll do that eventually, but like not yet. It might turn into a quick service instead of like a full. I don't know what their plan is. I don't know what their plan is, but I know that it's gonna be insane because that concept art made me cry. That's and I, I went online and I, I did post a TikTok of my many ideas for Villains Land. And I was like, take them or leave them. But uh, yeah, I'm excited. <laughs> I'm very that's, excited. That's what we are camping with no internet service whatsoever yeah. when, when the news came out. And we did catch a brief glimpse. And I'm like, oh, they, my, my wife got a text. And yeah. she like showed it to me. and said, Villains Land. She's like, are, is this fake no and it was we both were like well d23 is this weekend so mm. it could be real but we couldn't verify anything yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah and so yeah no like my my wife and daughter are beyond ecstatic for this Great. like my daughter was literally in the middle of camping going let's go to disney world right now yeah bye like, child child <laughs> dude 
it's 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 not there yet. <laughs> yeah, it's, I, I wish. I think we're gonna get it. They're gonna break ground next year, so I I think it'll be like twenty twenty seven. That's my thought. I don't know. Um, their 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 project timelines are so bizarre. I know the fact I know. that uh, the Splash Mountain to Tiana mm-hmm. has taken it feels like a decade. Uh, well, once they broke ground on it, it moved pretty quick. Once they actually like were doing like closed Splash Mountain, it turned around in like less than a year. Once they actually started doing stuff, took a while. Um, for them to actually start, but they said they're going to break ground next year on this. So, and um, they also don't yeah. if um, so. This is the the beyond Big Thunder Mountain. That's mm-hmm. what they were calling this this area beyond yep. Big Thunder Mountain. Yep. Um, the best part of that is it doesn't impact. No, you don't have to close anything to build it. Mm-hmm. Uh, so they can work now without shutting yep. anything down. Uh, as opposed to the Cars Land, mm-hmm. which we know will at least take out Tom Sawyer Island, regardless if they take out the river or not. Yeah. It's going it, to, you're in the middle of the park. It's going to be interesting to watch that from Haunted Mansion. You know, from the Haunted Mansion queue, you might be able to see something. Um, we'll see. We'll see. But I, it is cool that they can do. Like, they, I know they haven't because permits and stuff, but, like, they could have broken ground already, and we wouldn't know on Villain's Land. Like, yeah. I'm not saying they did. I don't think they did at all, but we wouldn't they, that's know. A, yeah, exactly. Cause you know? Disney I think it's is... even beyond the railroad tracks. Like, I don't know where the railroad yes. tracks are, but it's even going to be further than that. Like, I have a feeling they're going to make an entrance of, like, we'll figure it out. But, like, yeah. it's going to be interesting. The I know railroad that. tracks hug pretty close to Big Thunder Mountain. Yeah. So yeah. it would have to be beyond the railroad tracks. I think is, it will be. Yeah. Um, historically, there we don't like to go outside this thing, but they did yeah. in Disneyland, and yeah. the world didn't collapse. Although no. that that's one of my most despised parts of Disneyland. Mm. <laughs> that Toontown is horrible. <laughs> oh, I do miss old Toontown. I miss it all the time. I wish we still had it in Disney uh, World. Um, Where the circus thing is? Yeah. I like the circus thing, and I think them having two Dumbos is one of the smartest things they've ever done. I think that's really, really intelligent. But, um, yeah, I don't mind that we're kind of getting away from the spoken wheel thing, where, like, everything is kind of accessible from the little main hub. Um, I don't mind that we're building beyond that. I think it's a great idea. I think it's good. I think... um, as a Disney parks, like, babe, um, Walt always said that Disney will always be changing and expanding and, you know, growing. And I think the fact that we're using some of this freaking land that he bought a very long time ago and, like, expanding the parks to do new things, I think it's great. So I'm not mad. There's nothing at least announced right now that I'm upset that they're changing or closing or anything like that. I think it's all good stuff. So... Um, yeah, I think it just was the year for them to do a lot of this kind of stuff and use some of the money that they're making from the paid fast pass system Yeah, to like actually give us something good. Um, I'm very excited to ride Tiana's. I think that's amazing. I think it was a necessary addition. I think it was a necessary change, but it is nice to have something completely new. That's not a new skin of something. Mm -hmm. That's not like... You know, an iteration of a previous idea. I I'm excited that we're getting original. At least with Villains Land, there is nothing like it so far in any of the parks. Um, we have kind of a Cars thing. There are some monsters and contractions, but the villains have never gotten their own like playground. So yeah. I'm excited. The only part I'm irritated about Tiana's is mm. it won't be open at Disneyland when I go there next month. Yeah, that's upsetting. I will hopefully get to ride it next month, and I'm very excited. Yeah. So, yeah, the, the, out of everything they announced, I am upset about one part of all mm. of their closures, but um, we all knew it was coming. Yeah. The closure of Dino Land. Yeah. Yeah, that... Yeah, I wasn't thinking about that. You're totally right. I am a little bummed. I like Dinosaur, but having ridden it 
so basically this past year I had an annual pass. I will not be renewing it for next year. But I had an annual pass for a year and I went four, five times with it. Two, yeah, two family trips, um, a trip with my friend Carly, a solo trip, um, whatever. I went quite a few times and I rode dinosaur most of them. And every time I was like, that needs some love. Every time I'd get off of it and be like, my back hurts because I'm old. And um, that ride needs some love. There's whole ass animatronics that don't work anymore. Yeah. And it was time. I hate to say it was a relic and it is a dinosaur, but uh-huh. it is. Uh-huh. And um, they have a really good Indiana Jones ride that uses the same technology. That's so what I was going to say. I'm like, it it's the tracks. same it's the same skin on the Indiana Jones ride mm-hmm. between the two mm-hmm. parks. So it's uh, mm-hmm. hopefully they do actually update things. <laughs> they did say that this Indiana Jones ride is going to be original and not okay. just a copy of um, the one in Disneyland. So that is exciting. Um, the fact that it uses the same technology and the track is the same. I think they'll keep that. I think the skin will just change, which is fine with me. I don't care. Um, and then at first, I was like, why is Encanto going there? That doesn't make any sense. And then someone explained that it's going to be a South America section, which tracks with the fact that most of the other lands are places, you know? Yeah, Asia and Africa. Asia, Africa, even Pandora is a fake place, but it's a place, you know. It's kind of like other Epcot, which has its own weird element to it that, like, Asia and Africa got a different park it's interesting that's not what we're talking about today though but i just think it's notable to be like hmm um but south america is getting its own section which is why encanto is going there and i think it's specifically going to be i forget his name but the little boy who talks to animals i think it's like gonna focus on him you know oh, okay it's gonna I be a walkthrough of casita but like i think mainly his room okay you know i, I feel yeah you're right. Dino Land always felt weird. Yeah. But as a paleontologist, I, I loved I like it's the last, great. The last time I was there, they have so many like it's so phenomenal that I didn't even know there was a restaurant t- with tons of dinosaur stuff in it. Yeah. In that part in that part of the park. I never knew it was even mm-hmm. there because um, mm-hmm. I'd always walked around it. And I just I'm like, I want to get pictures of everything. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, oh, there's a ton of dinosaur stuff in this area. It's really cool. Yeah. But. And well, when you first walk in, you got the three, you got the uh, elephant head, you mm-hmm. have the dragon head, and you have a dinosaur head. Correct. On the right on Animal Kingdom, and you're kind of losing. Like I know they didn't have any dragons for like the longest time till Avatar opened, but like, yeah, that's a whole. Losing. Don't get me started on Beastly Kingdom. I'll talk for too long about it. But yes, <laughs> yeah. Speaking you are of losing the dinosaur. Announced it. <laughs> yeah, they might keep the dinosaur just for like posterity. You know, I, I can't imagine they'll change that. It says, the, yeah, it doesn't actually have to tie to anything. No, I think it's uh, clearly because we have the dragon. So um, I don't think they'll change the logo or anything like that. But I am I am excited to see what they do with that section, because like I do love the theming of Dino Land. I think it's really cute. I think this like kitschy sideshow attraction or, uh, you know, I think it's cute. And I like the Chester and Hester thing. Like, I think it's I, I like it. I like the story. I think it's lost. I think they didn't do a great job of connecting the dots for people on what the lore of Dino Land is, which is actually really cute and really interesting. Um, I think it just became, this is Dinosaur, the ride. There is a playground. And then, um, oh yeah, you could pick up your annual pass, like, magnets here. Cool. And that's about it. Like, they have... Uh, Trilobites, I think, is supposed to be really good. It's like the ice cream sandwich yep. spot. And then you have Restaurantosaurus, of course. But, like, it's not unique, really, except for the theme, which is cool. But, like, it makes sense. There's not a lot of people who are like, Dino Land, let's go. But, like, I, I think it'll I pushed that child over when I was running. Like, yeah. I want to go to Dino Land. Like, out yeah. of my way, kid. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> um. I think it needed it. I hate it because I do I do love that section, but like if there's a section of a park that needs some 
recalibrating. Especially since it's they kept, that. they were slowly pulling away. They like took an entire ride out. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh my and gosh. Just yeah, yeah. Open space. <laughs> I'm like, wow. Yeah. You. That's when did, you know. Didn't even try. <laughs> just mm. Like we're gonna we're gonna move this and it's now a parking lot. Yeah. I knew it was always going to be on the chopping block. Um, and it's same with It's Tough to Be a Bug, which oh yeah gave, uh, listen, gave children nightmares for a very long time. And then- um, And adult spinal problems. Yeah, that too. I went in there because I knew, I knew they were going to replace it um, the last time I went in December. So I went in and even as an adult, a full grown woman sitting in that theater- was terrifying like (laughs) it was not it was enjoyable it was cute but like it was scary like there was not i think ever a show of it's tough to be a bug where there wasn't a crying child like i'd be shocked because it is scary i'm not gonna lie i did i was like shook was it you? <laughs> Were you every time you're yes. like somebody's crying in the theater every time yeah. I'm here? Oh, it's me. And it's me. Um, <laughs> yeah. No, not the last time. <laughs> but yeah, it's it it needs some love. So I'm excited. I'm ex- I'm excited to see what they do with Zootopia. It'll be cool. I think so. Yeah. I so. I, I I like new stuff. I like especially mm-hmm. if they if they go full Disney and on it and don't don't skimp um like we had under chapek a lot uh yeah mm-hmm. i think i think i think it, it has a lot of potential yeah yeah i think Iger is literally laying the right foundation um his team is i think it'll be good i think he's due to leave soon he is but i think i i'm i think josh I demaro like... is really good with the parks josh um, is great i love josh demaro yeah. i think I think he might be being groomed to take over, which I don't want to lose him. But but I think as a, I think I I would, I would be fine with him as the head. Oh, I agree. I I really like him. Do I agree with everything he's done? No, of course not. There's been a lot of stuff with the parks that are questionable, but I think a lot of that had to do with Chapek's influence, but I think DeMauro is solid. And I, I think he believes in the, like, spirit of Disney a little bit more than most. So I I would welcome that. And I think he'd pick a successor that made sense, you know? Yeah. Um, but I just, I think tomorrow's, if he wants it, I think it's his. But we'll see. All right. More Star Wars news. Star Wars, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Hey, this became a Disney Parks podcast for like it half did. an hour. It did. Sorry. No, it's fine. I knew. I knew it. Um, there's, like I said, there's some Star Wars news, not a ton, but yeah. with all the Enough. amount of Disney Parks news, it's like we, we I think, uh, I think we got stuff to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. We had a few things. But we did get a trailer yeah. for Skeleton Crew, mm-hmm. um, and from what I've seen, I've seen conflicting. Um, conflicting reports on how it's being released uh, their wording changes mm. but I think it will be a two episode premiere on December 3rd as sure. opposed to the entire series mm-hmm. what are your thoughts on the trailer very cute very Goonies very it very is. Goonies very Stranger Things I I like it that is interesting and different and exciting um, I have a feeling you're gonna hear a lot of it doesn't feel like Star Wars. Oh, we've already already people are complaining that one house has a lawn. At the very beginning they're oh, showing the yeah. neighborhood and the house has a lawn. Like interesting. And you know what I think of when I see that scene with the lawn? Mm-hmm. Like, oh it has an Ithorian. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um I don't know. It did feel a little it does it does feel different to me but that's not necessarily a bad thing. I think I think it grounds Star Wars. It's giving a little like more Guardians of the Galaxy than Star Wars. Yes. Right off the bat. Um I'm not mad at that. It is interesting. It's an interesting tonal choice to tell this story within Star Wars. 
I like think, I just don't know how that's gonna go. I think, I think this is the one. Like the acolyte got a lot of pushback, but a lot for bad reasons. Yeah, I think this one might get pushback for appropriate reasons. If am I? Um, you know, you know what I mean. Like uh, not mm-hmm. like, um, not like racist or anything yeah. like that. It just this does it the tonally the t- tonal reasons and uh story wise so i'm yeah this is one of those i've never been super excited for this show mm. we'll see we'll see when it comes out I, i've i've been known to change my tune more often than not so uh yeah i'm not writing it off i'm just disappointed just from the trailer oh. <laughs> it feels like they wanted to tell a story and then someone said we need a new star wars show can we make this Star Wars? That's what it feels like to me. You know, like someone had a story and they were like, well, we can't make this, but if you make it Star Wars, we can make it. We can justify that. Um, Like, I don't know if the inherent, it inherently feels like a Star Wars tale to me. Um, That could change. This is a trailer. I haven't seen the show yet, but it feels like something else to me. This is the yeah. first time I've ever been like, I feel like that's a valid criticism. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, it doesn't feel Star Wars to me. I'm like, it kind of doesn't. And you're not wrong. That shot with the lawn, they're not wrong. Like, it looks like something out of Stranger Things. And you just threw a little Star Wars pixie dust on it. Yeah. And that's not necessarily a bad thing. But it is valid. It is a valid, like, we haven't seen a planet that looks like ours in Star Wars. That doesn't mean it doesn't exist. But when you've got, like, you're you're imitating suburban, like, USA suburbia in Star Wars, it's a little interesting. It's It's an interesting choice. It it was bound to happen at some point, but it Mm -hmm. doesn't make it right. (laughs) Yeah, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it yet. That's one that I I guess I got to... I gotta watch it, and then I'll uh, make a call. But it's interesting. Yeah. So other news: uh, yep. they they released a sizzle reel, I believe, for Andor season two, which we did. did not see. Um, I did not see. Um, nope. I part of the internet saw, I believe, but I, yeah. I didn't. I didn't go digging for it. Mm-hmm. But we did get announced that K two S O will be back for this season, which was one of those. Yeah, duh, uh, <laughs> sort of things. Like when, when they're like, "Oh, he's not in season one." Alan Tudyk's not doing it. Like, you you, you can't not have K two S O and then all of a sudden show up in Rogue One. Yeah, I, yeah, we need him. <laughs> um, yeah. So, but from everything, it sounds like uh, season two of Andor uh, premiering next year should be just as good as season one. I'm. Mm-hmm. I'm hoping. And I've heard that. Um, Mostly how we got the arcs from season one. Each of those arcs for season two will be a different year. So we'll be jumping ahead a year per arc. Cool. Uh, They also, I think, released a sizzle reel for the Mandalorian and Grogu. They did. The worst freaking title of a movie ever. It's not great. It's very, um, it does what it says on the tin. (laughs) They did the thing. They did the thing. (laughs) It's fine. Um, that will be released May 22nd of 2026. Yep. Um, uh, yeah, I don't really know. Much. I know one I... thing. Zeb's in it. Oh, okay. I saw a, a little screenshot of Zeb in it. Is that real? I don't know, but I saw it. <laughs> uh, I did cat, um, going through the star wars.com thing. It does say Zeb Aurelius in action. Yeah, there you go. So it wasn't fake. Love to see that. Well, it may have been fake, but he's definitely in it. He's so in I, it. I, I don't think that yeah. they they would have faked that. I saw a still of him in a cockpit, which is about right. So easier for him, to, easier for them to do in cockpit than uh, walking. Yeah. But I can't imagine they won't have him walking since he's already been walking. Yeah, for sure. We got a new trailer for Lego Star Wars Rebuild the Galaxy, mm-hmm. and this one is more of a story official trailer it gives a more background on the actual show i think the show is going to be amazing 
Yeah, I think. Oh, I said it was a movie before. It's yeah, whatever the hell it is, I'm excited for it. They are marking it weird. Every time I see it mentioned, it's mentioned as a four part thing. Hmm. Or three part. I I don't remember it's three or four parts, but it definitely mentioned as a, a part thing. So I don't know. Huh. It makes how sense. How it's Legos. being released? Uh-huh. Get it. So I don't yeah. know if it's coming out. I assume it's coming out all at once on just September 13th, but I don't know if it'll be four episodes making a movie Mm -hmm. or it's just weird wording. I don't know. Yeah. But that looks a lot of fun. Um, Yes, we got uh, a lot of official names announced. Ahmed Best, we already knew. Kelly Marie Tran, Anthony Daniels, Billy Dee Williams, uh, and um, Mark Hamill, Mm. along with lots of other people. Um, all all announced for being in that. Like I said, I'm more excited for that than I am for stra- uh, not Stranger Things. <laughs> um, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm I'm not wrong though. Um, no. There are a Skeleton couple crew. other Skeleton Crew. Thank you. Yeah, there are a couple you. other pieces of news that we got outside of this. Um, yeah. This one I thought was really interesting. Uh, is that Jedi Survivor is coming finally? They had announced it a long time ago that it would be coming to previous gen. Uh, things so i can actually buy it um yeah. I think they just said they emailed me and said just so you know we're going to send this out in the previous gen so you you alone can buy this just you just you um so on september 17th it is going to be coming out for xbox one and ps4 mm-hmm. i'm hoping to get it like probably like at a christmas like black friday sale because it's coming out before the holidays so that's good um yeah so i'll hope to play it then or you know i think greg has it you've mentioned him having it before yeah so i don't need to, i don't necessarily need to buy it <laughs> anyway so on star wars outlaws um apparently you can download it now yeah. uh but you just can't play it <laughs> it's crazy um but yeah i think it launches august 30th and so you can uh you can get the download and then just activate it when it when it's available yeah. This seems interesting as it's uh, an open world Star Wars game. I don't know what consoles it's on, though. Yeah, I have no idea. I've never been able to actually find that information. Hmm. Other than maybe it's just a PC game. Yeah, it might be. So I think that's most of the news. It's a lot. It is a lot. There's been a lot going on. But good stuff, you know. Yeah. I think um, between San Diego Comic Con and D twenty three and all the news that they peppered mm-hmm. in in the middle, like it's like we're just gonna release this information now, like the yeah. information on the book books coming out. Yeah, I think I think we got a lot a lot to look forward to, and um, I'm excited. I think yeah. I'm excited for the shows that are co- that are coming out. I like I like the breaks between the shows. It gives yep. me time to do other things <laughs> yeah sorry yes exactly so anything else you want to add no we covered a lot so with that you can find us on all the social medias and we'll announce on their kind of what the plan is maybe yeah. um we'll see mm-hmm. uh also all social media medias at talking tauntauns you can find us on our website at all times talking tauntauns.com you can email us uh either through the contact on the website or contact at talking tauntauns.com uh we are with this step back of nicole we are going to shutter the patreon uh at least for right now we will see what we want to do with that in the future mm-hmm. um but please leave five-star review, share us with a friend, and we'll see you next time.